let us come back and write this answer so what does this question say water is neutral well h2s is acidic in nature explain right simple concept so when do we say something is acidic when it releases h plus ion when it is dissolved in water concept one next when do we say something is neutral basically if it is not releasing h plus or oh minus simple logic how should i write this answer so first important thing we have not learned any concept i only remember one concept that is as i go down the group that is oxygen sulfur selenium tellurium polonium as we go down the group what is increasing atomic number is increasing when atomic number is increasing what will increase atomic size also increases let us come back and write in this term <coughs> now basically in h2s if i have to see sorry which is if i have to see the bond or the atomic size is larger when sulfur so first important thing simple right start writing here h2s the bond between s and h okay i'll be writing the same reason both so the bond here when i compare this bond o and h now <coughs> what are you observing in s and uh, o and h here the uh, you find hydrogen bonding okay first of all the size is smaller okay and there is a different and the electronegativity difference after because the alternative difference it's going to show hydrogen bonding here in sulfur and hydrogen okay the electronegativity difference is very less it's almost no uh, that is uh, 2.4 and 2.2 very very closer so no hydrogen bonding observed okay done when there is no hydrogen bonding when i take this h2s when i dissolve this is in water what does it do it's going to release out this h plus ion simple then so it releases <coughs> your h plus because of the release of h plus ion i call this is acidic in nature done but here in this case it is comfortably showing hydrogen bonding and <coughs> when it is showing hydrogen bonding and bonded together i can easily call it is a neutral molecule so write in this term now let us write it explain the same way here same concept again but here how do you write uh, if <coughs> if i have to write the same answer here also h o h what is observed hydrogen bonding is observed see h to s is a gas now you are going to write in this way <coughs> the bond between s and h and the bond between o and h start comparing here here in s and h now as i said the size increases done now oxygen and hydrogen when i compare the size a bit smaller compared to this so what will happen with the bond the bonds are stronger so bonds are stronger let us come back to this here as a size increases sulfur and hydrogen the bonds are weaker compared to this so when the bonds are weaker what will happen yes the force of attraction also is weak done <coughs> okay i have written the same thing force of attraction is less so h2s is a gas here water is a liquid because of hydrogen bonding 